Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. I'm here with my good friend Jerome. Hello everybody, this is Jerome. Thanks for having me back once again. Oh, definitely. I'm happy to have back on the channel. He loves fragrance as much as I do, so we'll get the video started. Before we start, ladies and gentlemen, if you like fragrance-related content like this, first impressions, full and depth reviews, make sure you support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. I really would appreciate that. Make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. Today, we're talking about top five fragrances from Roja Parfum Cologne. Today, we're going to talk about Roja Dove Elysium. This is the Parfum Cologne. So I'm going to let Jerome smell and see if he likes it. And all these fragrances he's going to rate from one to 10, and he's going to pick his favorite two at the end and I'll give my two favorite at the end too as well. So here we go, Roja Parfum Elysium. Can't wait. There you go. That was my first time smelling the people, so. Mm. So this fragrance here is very fresh, very clean, very citrus uplifting scent. If you like fragrances that have lemon, bergamot, has black currant in it, this is a very freshy type of uh, niche fragrance from the House of Rose. If you like Creed Aventus, if you like Dior Sauvage, if you like Blue de Chanel, you're gonna like this fragrance here. Very signature scent, very nice uplifting scent. So how do you feel about it? First expression, I gotta say, I love it. You love it? Okay. Mm. Something that you would wear casual so, day to day? Definitely wear, you know, it's summertime now, it's a beautiful weather. This is something that it could be good for spring and summertime. That's awesome. So, you know, wow. That's good to hear. got my attention, you know what I mean? Just by me smelling it, I'm like, okay, this is something that you already know what kind of scent I like anyway. So this is definitely something that I would definitely wear. For me personally, I would give this uh, eight out of 10 um, for a score. What would you give for one out of 10? I mean, it's probably different on paper. So can you spray a little bit on me? Skin, yeah, sure, here, right here. A little bit on skin. Sometimes it smells better on skin than paper. So keep sure. that in mind. Oh yeah, I still love it. Still love it? Okay. Got to give it a high, high uh, number. Mm -hmm. Probably say a nine. A nine? Okay, so oh, nine yeah. out of ten. Okay, so this is Rosier. This is Parfum Clone. This is Elysium. Definitely check this out. Number two fragrance from the house of Rosier. This is Rosier Parfum, and this is Scandal Cologne. Let him smell this and see how he feels about it. I must say the bottle looks very beautiful. Yes, yeah, so I like the beautiful with the purple here and it's a little cleared out of bottom. These are all unisex fragrances, so men and women can wear these. So rest assured, this is not a female fragrance because it's in a purple bottle. So this has notes of lemon, uh, bergamot. There's freshness in it. There's a mint in it. I'm sorry, a spearmint in the fragrance. This is a barbershop Fougere vibe, so it has lavender. So if you like lavender fragrances like Creed Viking, if you like Tom Ford, Beau de Jour, um, you're going to like this fragrance here. Very nice, very uplifting scent for a gentleman or a woman can wear it as well so um how do you feel about this one this is this is something that i would definitely wear myself too okay it's more like a unisex mm. so i believe that maybe you know women will definitely love to get this their hands on this too if this one is going to be high because i love this one a lot so i'm gonna give it a, a nine out of ten um, for this fragrance here performance is great i'll leave a video down below where i do reviews on all these fragrances but how do you so feel about you, it which one would, i mean so would you wear this doing the Winter time or um, summer this time? one here, I feel like you can wear it versatile. I feel like okay. you can wear it in the spring, the summer, the fall. Summer might be a little heavy because of some of the lavender, but maybe maybe one or two sprays in the summertime. But spring, fall, winter, you can go four or five sprays, you're good to go. Okay. Well, I mean, first impression, like I said, um, you know, I definitely would definitely wear this. Okay. Even though it's it's more leaning towards the feminine. Okay, yeah, personally. Um, but I love the bottle. Oh, the bottle, yeah. Something is very, very eye-catching. The bottle. I'm assuming the pressure's up there too, right? Yeah, it's but you're looking at two ninety for all of these fragrances, so keep that in mind. I'll leave links down below in the perfume module where you can get samples for I think it's like nine to ten dollars. So you can buy samples of all of them before you commit to a full three hundred dollar bottle. Well, so I have to give this a, I give this a seven point five. I don't want to give it too much high. Okay. Because you know. So I'll give it a 7.5. Okay. 7.5 for Roger Parfum. And this is the cologne. This is Scandal. Number three fragrance from the house of Roger Parfum cologne. This is Danger. So, a couple sprays. See how you feel about it. So this one here um, has some citrus, bergamot freshness, lime in the opening. There is a very heavy, heavy, heavy lavender scent in the fragrance too. There's some uh, clove in the fragrance. So this one here is a nice gentleman fragrance. I feel like the more dressed occasions. I feel like it's great for a signature scent if you want it to be a great fall and winter scent, but you can wear this whenever you want because it does have some freshness in the opening. I do like this one from the house of Rosia. What in this? this on that good. one. <laughs> um, this is, compared to the Elysium, this probably right up there with it. So okay. Danger is definitely good. I, I mean, I've heard about this too, so mm -hmm. this is very good that I'm actually smelling it for the first time, so. Oh, that, yeah. That's awesome. I like the beautiful bottle too, because it has the red and it has a light red on the bottom. So all the color coordinates are really nice with the bottle presentation and the juice. So you get what you pay for. Bottle, you're able to see how many juices are in there too. So you can, it's clear. So you're able to see, you know, as far as 
how many, you know, juice that you took, so, which is good. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the juice level because sometimes in fragrances, they block it out where you can't see it. You know how much okay. juice you have left. So it's good if you can see how much you have left and if you need to rebuy another bottle, you can buy another bottle or get how many sprays you have left out of the bottle. Me personally, for rating uh, from one to 10, I'm gonna give it um, a solid 7.5 out of 10. And as far as the season, which one would you wear for? Um, so for me personally, seasons, I would go more of a fall and winter time. I feel like more of a, be great for the colder weather, just go with the heavy lavender. But you can wear this fragrance any year round. Just be careful with the sprays. One or two sprays in the hotter days. I think the colder days, you can do five or six. No worries. I, I mean, I definitely believe that you can wear this, you know, dressed up. Okay. Go to a wedding, you know, some, you know, grown man, you know, put a suit on, you know. So as far as this, I give it an eight. Oh, great. All right, that's awesome. Definitely. It's a great, great scent. You should definitely check out. I'll leave links down below. You can pick up samples if you're afraid to buy a full bottle. Definitely go to perfmology.com. I'll leave a link down below. Reach out to the near guy. He'll take care of you. This is Roger Paul Farm, and this is Vetiver Cologne. See, I feel I like the beautiful green presentation. You like this one? Thank you very much. No problem. So while he smells, I'm gonna go over a little bit of the fragrance. So this one has an opening of a fresh and cleanness as well. But this is primarily gonna be a vetiver-based fragrance. Very green, uplifting scent. If you like vetiver and fragrances, you're gonna love this fragrance here. Very green, very herbal. Um, um, some people might say it leans in like the hay territory, like hay. Um, but like I said, it's a very green, uplifting scent. I love wearing this one. It's very nice to wear all year round as a signature scent. I must say it's not as strong as the others. Okay. So this is very light. So I would assume that, you know, if I had to wear this, I'd be doing the summertime, doing yeah. the springtime season, you know, but. It's a nice safe scent, yeah. Yeah, very safe scent, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. There's not a wrong time when it wears fragrance. It's not a loud fragrance like the other fragrance that we talked about okay. on here so far in the video, but it's nice uplifting. So you can wear it to work, date night, any occasion you're gonna feel safe. People are gonna like it. Is it gonna be a comic or a fragrance? I don't know, it depends on where you live at, but it's not a loud fragrance as a shout out, but when people get close to you or walk by you, they're gonna know you're wearing a fragrance and you're gonna smell really good that day. Exactly, you shouldn't wanna offend nobody, especially at, the, at, at your work and anything like that. So I think this would be safe. Oh, that's definitely awesome. Be good. So I'm gonna give this rating, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 because it isn't as strong as I would like it to be because I want people to be able to smell me. So keep that in mind, especially for $2.90 a bottle. You want something's gonna protect a little bit, maybe not strong, but this is a nice scent. If you just want to wear a nice, rich gentleman scent, this right. is nice, but it's not gonna be a beast mode fragrance. So keep that in mind. But like I said, seven out of 10 isn't bad. How do you feel about it? I give it about six. You know, I'm gonna go a little lower. This is probably the least from the others, you know, so okay. I'll give it a six. No problem. You can't go wrong, you know what I mean? No, nah, I like the beautiful bottle presentation with the green and the light green, so it's nice, nice touch to the fragrance, and it talks about as a green fragrance, green bottle. So definitely check out Vetiver by Roger Parfum. This is the cologne. Last fragrance from number five from Roger Parfum collection. This is Creation E. Fragmental from Chris. I know you love this mm. fragrance, but we have to talk about it, so we're gonna keep it real here. Um, let him smell it, see how he feels about it. I like the bottle presentation as well. With the orange and gold, it kind of matches very well. So while he smells, I'm gonna go over the note breakdown a little bit. So this has lemon, it's fresh, it's clean the opening, very citrusy, dry, you get a boozy effect with rum, uh, cognac. It's a very nice and smooth fragrance that you wanna wear. Maybe when you're wearing a suit and tie, wanna do your business meeting, or maybe you're going out tonight to the bar with a girl, have a nice cigar, a nice watch on, nice uh, necklace on, you wanna show off a little bit with a nice car, so on and so forth. This is a hot fragrance to have. I won't even lie to you. I'm not feeling this. I don't, You're not feeling it? Okay. I'm not feeling this. No worries, man. You know, I'm always honest with you, of course. Oh, definitely. So as far as this, nah, it's probably, uh -huh. nah. Nah? Is it too heavy, too thick? I think it's too heavy. Okay. The, the, you know, it just smacks me in my face. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know. Not, not in a good way. Not in a good way. Okay, yeah. no problem. So, I particularly wouldn't get this. Nope. At the end of the day, like I said, it is a different type of scent. It's not your very often fresh and clean fragrance. It's a little fresh in the opening, and then it does calm down some. You get that booziness, that sweetness. Um, you get um, some of that cognac in it. It's just, it's more like a boozy scent. So if you don't like boozy scents, you may not like this fragrance here, but I like this one. At first, I did not like the fragrance. At first, I smelled, I was like, up, oh, don't like it. I wore it a few more times, and I do like it more than ever. I'm gonna give it a rating uh, 7.5 out of 10. So it's not the you, best, but you know. So as far as you, when you wear it, did you wear it, did you put on paper first or did you put it in your so skin? So the first time I sprayed it on paper and I ain't too much like it, then they told me to spray it on my skin and then mm. I didn't like it as well, but then they told me to wear it a few times from a sample I bought at Perfumology. And then after three times wearing it, I started wearing it more and I liked it and I bought a bottle, but it took almost four times wearing it to want to buy a bottle. So sometimes that's to wear on your skin a while and you have to wear it a few times to see if you like it or not. As far as so. the season, so, I mean. So for me personally, I would go with more fall and winter just because of the cognac, the sweet boots notes, more of a fall and winter, but if you want to wear early spring, that's fine. Do not 
wear this in the summertime is too coin and people are gonna think maybe you had a few drinks before you left the house. So, but it's not a bad fragrance. If you like boozy scents, if you want a fall and winter fragrance, this is great. Easy eight hours on my skin. Push it pushes for the first two hours. So mm. it's nice for the price range. You get what you pay for. So you know what? I already told you I ain't really mm -hmm. appreciate this. No problem. But I'll probably give it a, a, a three point five four. Okay, no problem. I'm being too nice, so hey. No problem. We'll, get, we'll, we'll give it three. He'll give it three point five. That's yeah, fair yeah. enough. It's nice. It's not his cup of tea, but look, he's being honest here. You know what? We don't all like the same fragrances. You know how that goes, right. ladies and gentlemen. So at the end now, we're gonna let him pick two fragrances that he does like. I'm gonna pick my two favorite, and we'll get right back to you. So stay tuned. Of all the fragrances, I had to choose two. It was very hard, but to me, it was pretty easy. The number two is Danger. What can I say about this? Presentation is very beautiful, by the way. Um, not too strong. This is the type of season that you can wear doing all year round, to be honest with you. Six to eight hours, I believe, on you. And the projection, like my friend Chris always says, about an hour and a half to two hours. Very good too, you know. Definitely something that I could afford and something, something that too, 100 mil, you can't go wrong with that price. Um, as far as that, you know, all year round, suited up, dressed up. This is definitely my number two danger. One. Elysium, yes. What could I say? First of all, my favorite color is navy blue, so this is very beautiful. I heard so much things about this. So definitely when I smelled this today, I was very happy. Um, beautiful presentation, the little dark, you know, in, in the top. Season, you can wear this all year round too. But I would rather prefer wearing this during the springtime and of course summertime too. So definitely this is gonna be one of my signature scent. So you can't really go wrong with that, you know? So I definitely recommend this to be number one and this to be number two. But number one is definitely, at least, you, know, you cannot go wrong with that. So once again, Mr. Jerome, love Elysium. My number two fragrance is from the house of Rosia. There's no other than Elysium. So Elysium's a great one. I know he talked about it already. I don't wanna go too more in depth in the fragrance, but it's fresh. It's clean, it's uplifting scent. If you like Creed Aventus, Blue Day Chanel Parfum, Versace Dylan Blue, and you're tired of designer fragrances, this is an amazing niche fragrance, niche quality. People love this fragrance. My girlfriend loves this fragrance a lot. This is her first rose that she smelled off of me. She loved it, head over heels. And you can pick this up at Perfumology, by the way, if you want a full bottle or a sample. This is great for a date night, signature scent. Um, great if you work in a business or an office. Everybody's gonna like this scent. It's very safe. Just be careful with the sprays, maybe two, three sprays. You'll love the way you smell. You know you you're gonna smell expensive, you're gonna smell rich, and you might garner a few comments from the ladies. So definitely check out Roger Parfum, and this is Elysium Cologne. You know me, if you know I like mint, so it's no, no other than Roger Parfum, Scandal. So I dropped the cap, that's how much I love the fragrance, but <laughs> this one's great. It's lemon, bergamot, there's spearmint in it, there's lavender, it's a beautiful scent, a barbershop fougere vibe. I compare this to like Creed Viking, if you like Creed Viking, but this is more smoother. It's not as heavy with the rose in the fragrance, and this could be a great date night scent, a wedding scent. If I didn't have Viking, I'd probably be this my wedding scent for me and my girlfriend, because this is how much I love it. She loves it as well. She loves the beautiful purple bottle, so she's in the purple, and I like the scent. So anyway, Anyway, this is my number one Roger Parfum. This is Scandal. Definitely check this out if you like to know the spearmint, fresh lemon, lavender. You'll love this by Roger. Thank you guys for watching another fragrance. I'd like to thank Jerome for being another video with me. I appreciate it. More videos are coming soon. I'll see you next one. Peace.